All right, so I have here the Z Grip, the Z Grip Flight, and I bought these from Walmart. They're about 97 cents for two pens. So these are the cheapest ones here. We'll be comparing these ones. And these ones are about $4, and there's three of them here. So we'll be comparing these two. And then we'll be comparing my Tashikawa G Pen with the Bamboo Pen. And I'll be comparing all those today with you guys. So uh, please like the video and subscribe if you liked it. Thank you so much. Let's get started. All right, now for starters, we have the Z Grip ballpoint pen that I bought at Walmart, the cheapest by far. This pen alone is probably about 43 cents, whereas these ones are much more expensive, of course. And these ones are about a dollar 20 each. So I'll be using this pen first and let's see what I can create with it. Overall, this pen has a very uh, cheap feeling to it. Um, you know, it's cheaper version of pen. It's a ballpoint pen, so it's not gel. But you can still create some um, pretty thick lines with it if you uh, put a lot of pressure into it. And uh, it's great for this kind of sketching. You can do a whole bunch of uh, like cross hatching with it. That's a lot of fun, and uh, ball po it's a ballpoint pen, so it it's not like gel. You can't ink over. It, was, it wouldn't be very good for inking over pencil lines, but I think as a, a pen just to you know, keep in your pocket um, or in a, your backpack or something next to a sketchbook, I think this is a perfect kind of pen for you because you can sketch wherever you want, and it, if it leaks, it won't get everywhere like a gel pen will. Also, you can make fairly, you know, quick sketches with, with this in your pocket. And the best thing about it is if you lose it, if you end up losing the pen, it's, you know, it's very cheap. So you won't be too disappointed about it because it's, you know, less than 50 cents. So, And also, another quirk I found about this pen is the amount... Look at, look at that. There's so much ink in this pen, it'll last you a long time. Um, most of my pens, the ink's like up to here. This pen, when I, you buy it, the whole thing's filled up pretty much to the top. So there's a lot, there's a lot of writing space in there too. If you like writing as well, I would recommend this pen for sure. For a cheap starter. Um, just, you don't need great supplies to be a good artist. So I think this pen's great for, uh, taking with you where you go. All right, next up we have the Uniball, the Vivid Steady Ink Flow Uni Super Ink Vision Elite trademark. It's bold, so we'll see what we can do with this, shall we? Overall, it has a pretty uh, plasticky feel handle to it. 
the cap is very nice to take off. Feels really nice when you pop it off and then you pop it back in. That nice click to it. Um, I love the design on the outside. And the thing about these pens is when you buy them, each one of them has a different has a different uh, pattern on it. So I think that's a really good quirk to it. This one's got these lines. This one has the X's. This one has the right across the speed lines. I think that's really cool. They all have a different um, designs on them. So that's one quirk to it. Um, yeah, so we'll grab one of these and see what we can do. Now these are roller pens, so they're, it's like they're a mixture of gel pens and they're a mixture of ballpoint pens. They're not one or the other, it seems to me, from first impressions anyways. But overall, I, I like them so far. really excited to try the bamboo pen. Um, I've actually never really had this bamboo pen in any of my videos. Um, so I'm really excited to show you guys what I can do with it. This pen is very nice. I like it a lot. It's cheap as well. It's not as cheap as the first one, but If you're looking to find some nice cheap supplies just to make quick sketches and quick uh, studies, I would definitely recommend this pen. Um, it's okay for a pocket pen, but I would recommend the Zebras more for that. Just because if this one ever gets wet, it'll probably leak everywhere. Okay, so one thing I wanted to note about these pens versus these pens is the uh, the zebras are good at shading. You see, I can do some shading with this. Let's see, I could do shading with this pen. I could do, you know, it's more pencil. It seems more like a pencil. You can do like shading and all sorts of things with it. But for writing, I think this pen would be much better for writing. Um, now, if you're like inking over pencil lines, I would definitely recommend this pen, not this pen, because this pen won't leak into the paper. It's more of a pencil. So if you're looking for shading and cross hatching, I would recommend this pen. But if you're looking for inking over pencil lines and bold inking to fill in lots of uh, ink like this, to fill in lots of area of ink, I would recommend this pen because the flow is very, uh, very nice. The flow of the pen is very, very nice. And uh, yeah, so overall, and let's take a look inside of here. This one has a lot of ink as well. Um, so it's all up to you, but... between these two pens, I would say if you want writing, if you're in for writing, definitely this pen 
by far over this. I would get the uni ball for inking over pencil lines, um, either inking over pencil lines or for writing long stories. Um, even the pen to keep around the house for writing any kind of thing. Um, this is definitely a for sure pen. I like it a lot. Um, the feel, there's no really grip to it when you're writing, so it's a little plasticky. But I do like the design and the look on the outside, and the price is pretty well on these. A little bit more expensive, of course, than these. These are quite cheap. Um, I really like this one for shading and just to keep in your pocket. And if you have quick sketches you want to do, I think this is a perfect pen for you. So I would definitely recommend this pen. Um, I even like this pen a little better than the Uniball. Um, but see, if you want to do bold technique, you can't really... Um, do the inking as nicely with this pen, but you can do some really really nice cross hatching and uh, Yeah, I just I like the feel in general and the The ink size too, so I would definitely uh, if you're ever in Walmart, I would pick one of these up all right, so Now to Now to go on further we have the Tachikawa's G-Pen, and we have the Bamboo Brush Pen with two nibs on each end, so let me use this first, and we will compare. Okay, so the thing about the Tachikawa G Pen is that it's very versatile in your lines. You can make the most thinnest lines available, and you can also make really thick lines depending on the pressure that you you use. Um, so this pen, I would say, you need a lot, a lot, a lot of practice to um, become good at because it can be very, very hard to use because it can be really messy, and you have to take ink with you. And yeah, so if you're doing a lot of inking in a studio or somewhere, I would recommend this pen if you have a lot of time on your hands um, to practice with it. But I, to uh, carry around and bring with you on your travels is probably not so good um, just because it's so messy and you kind of need a setup to use it in like a studio or somewhere. But if you're doing a lot of manga and comics and inking a over a lot of... Uh, Pencil lines, I would definitely recommend this pen to use. Um, it's more expensive, of course. Um, uh, it's more expensive to use because you have to also buy the ink for it, too. Um, but if you have a lot of time on your hands and you have the money to spare, just a little bit more, this one's probably around $12, $15. Um, I got mine, I think, for like $16, but that was for shipping as well. So uh, you could probably find it cheaper, depending where you're from. But it is a lot more expensive, of course, than those other pens I was using. This is uh, used with professionals, use this. And uh, they make great comics with this. The Masters in Japan, they use a lot of um, these kind of G pens. So you can create some really amazing work with this if you have the time and if you're skilled with it. Um, I'm not skilled with it at hardly, but I will uh, get better if I keep using it. Okay, so this pen does have a tendency to scratch the paper. So if you are using this pen, you would have to be doing using very professional paper. So I'd recommend bristle board or some thicker uh, manga paper like deleter or paper. Um, because if you use really cheap paper, even in the sketchbook, you will rip it. Uh, the paper will totally rip on you. Um, especially if you're newer, newer to uh, this kind of pen. I 
wouldn't recommend this pen for writing a whole lot because it takes a long time and the lines aren't so pretty as a regular pen and you just can't get the effect you want. But I definitely recommend this pen if you are uh, intermediate or even uh, professional definitely. I would definitely recommend this pen. Um, yeah, it has a lot of... You can do a wide variety of things with this pen. It just takes a lot of time and practice. Um, but if you master it, you can become really great with just this pen alone. You won't need any other pen if you have this pen. Alright, next up we have the bamboo pen, brush pen, I've uh, never used one of these before, somebody gave me this, so this is going to be my first time drawing it out, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Hmm, it has a very old style to it. It can move very slowly across the page. But I really like this pen, wow. I think if you're taking your time to do an, a piece, this could definitely be the pen for you. It gives it a really old style look to it. It's like kind of charcoaly and it's a little scratchy when you use it. Okay, I never used one of these before, so why don't you guys let me know in the comment section below how I'm doing and if you've ever used a bamboo pen before and if you have, please let me know what it's used for. If this isn't what it's for, I'm not sure, but let me know if you have any information on it, that'd be great. This pen has a very old style to it, an old feel. I like it a lot. It's very interesting to use.
Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Links to these will be in the description below if you guys want to purchase any or try them out yourself. They will be down in the description below or in the upper right icon. Um, Alright, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Keep smiling and I'll see you next time.